Hello, my crafty friends. <laughs> and yeah, that was weird. And welcome to um the July edition of the Lun Fun Collab. No, I'm not high. I am just happy. Happy, happy to be crafting. All right, so today I'm going to show you how I created 21 shaker cards for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo that was held in Duluth. But more importantly, you guys, it is a lot of fun collab day. Be sure to check out my crafty friends. Their links are in the description below. So let's get started. To get started, I take this stitch rectangle die and this stitch mama elephant frame die and I tape them together using some post-it tape. Y'all, I love this stuff. But what it does is it allows me to cut my panels the same. Now I'm making 21 shaker cards and y'all. <laughs> It was a task, but it was a fun task. So throughout this video, you'll just see like how I do it. I won't like make you sit through me making 21 cards. That would be crazy. So carrying on, the next thing I do is run my paper and my dies through my Bic Kick um, die cutting machine. And a little tip, I powdered down that post-it tape with my powder tool. What it does is it remove some of the tack so that it doesn't stick to your paper um, as much. So 21 panels later and it's time to add the score tape to the back side of the panels. Now because I'm making so many cards, I did mine kinda in order so I cut everything and then I added tape to everything. So all I'm doing is taking score tape and applying it to the four sides of that square. This is going to allow me to secure my uh, acetate piece directly to that panel and it's gonna serve as the window frame or window glass, almost, I don't know, for my shaker cards. So for that back panel, um, I'm using some pattern paper and I wanted to use all of the little samples Lawn Fun has sent me over the years. So thankfully I had enough of the same color. That says a lot about me. <laughs> but all of my um, little squares I cut down to, I cut them down to two and a half, I believe, um, because that window opening is two inches and I wanted enough to go around each side. So after I have everything, Thing cut out I remove my uh, backing from the score tape and I take that S tape piece and I stick it on there now here's another quick tip keep that protective paper on your S tape piece it'll keep it clean and protected next we stamp so I am using some black stays on ink and my misty tool to stamp directly onto that acetate sheet. Stays on is a must have when you're stepping like this because it does not smudge and it dries clean. So for the rest of my stamping, I will be just stamping by hand onto some mixed media paper and I have three different types of ink that I'll be using. Oh, and I'm using the Stuck On You stamp set by Line Fun. Duh, I didn't even mention Line Fun. Oh. Dare I? <laughs> but as you see, I'm going to do some heat embossing on the first part. So I powdered down my paper or overly powdered down my paper. And um, I have some um, inks in the color of Audrey Blue from Simon Says Stamp. And what I like to do with these like stamps that, you know, have like a big area is I dip them in um, Versa Mark first because it's super sticky and then I go into whatever color ink I am using. It just helps me get a nice clean stepped out image and you know, it's, it's all good. So after that, I heat emboss it using some white uh, embossing, I mean not white, <laughs> clear embossing powder. I don't know my colors. And uh, what I wanted it to look like was like glazed terracotta pot. Um, so that embossing it just, it really gave it a touch and some texture and it made it really nice. So I'm glad I did that. All right, so for my 
cactus i am using some distress oxide y'all this was my first time like stamping something with this ink oh my god i love it <laughs> like for real so love it next i am using this ombre ink pad in orange to add my little flowers and then i go in with some versa fine and stamp on a little bitty happy face on all the cat tie cactuses i don't know and then i run it through my scan and cut because y'all i am not about fussy cutting i'm not about that life um no <laughs> and then i run them through the little sticker maker so i don't have to deal with any glue for the most part except for this glue that i'm using now <laughs> and i just use this to um glue on the little flowers and then also on these flowers i went over them uh, with some Wink Stella and right in the little center of each flower I added some Nouveau Drops, Nouveau Drops, Nouveau, Nouveau, Nouveau Drops that has to be like my new favorite product and it's not even new that's the sad part I've had it a while just never used it um so as you can see now I'm adding the Nouveau Drops right in the middle y'all I love these things it literally set on my um like on my craft uh shelf for like eight months before i really like used it in a project and i'm like today what were you thinking these nufo drops are the bomb and i even bought some more during the um scrapbook conference or scrapbook expo i guess it wasn't a conference but yeah <laughs> so you guys that's what i did um added nufo drops right in the center of each flower and then I set it aside and I let it dry. I gave it space to breathe. I let it appreciate itself. So you can see the glitter and the Nouveau drops close up. But yeah, I really thought this was like the cutest little cactus flower. I just love it. All right, but let's keep going. Let's keep going, Trinae. Keep it moving. So next I am going to finish up my card. Yas. So I took foam tape and... I put it all around the perimeter of my card and right under the um, bottom of that window. So when I did these, you know, I was making a lot of them, but at this point I went and did each card, um, you know, to, com to completion, I guess, to like it was done. Like I finished the card. Um, I didn't like add all the foam on each panel and then go back. I didn't want to do that because... It felt like I was leaving um, my little window um, exposed on the front and the back side and I didn't want it to get dirty or anything so I went ahead and um, finished it up so the foam I'm using is just that scotched uh, scotched <laughs> the scotch tape of uh, scotch mounting tape I got it at where did I get it from office depot in their packing section they sell this stuff and it comes in like this super large massive roll it is fifty dollars or close to fifty dollars but you have like the last time i purchased some yeah i i used it for like a year and a half like it was like really that much foam tape and as you can see um i used a lot of foam on these cards and i still have a lot and i made 21 shaker cards and I use this much foam on each one of them. So if you really like shaker cards and you really like foam, then go get that um, Scott foam mounting tape. It's packing tape. It'll be in the Office Depot in their packing section. It's really worth it. I mean, it's really worth it. All right, so off that, uh, I am adding some shaker sequence that I mixed up myself. Y'all, I'm really digging uh, sequence. I bought some like um from a wholesaler and i've been making my own sequence mix and i love it and i have a lot of sequence in my house because you, when you buy a wholesale you have to buy a lot but it was worth it <laughs> all right so um i finish up the back of the card by adding on my little square panel and then i am going to secure the panel to my card base and i'm using a little bit of glue on the back because you guys, I know I tell you all the time, but I live in Georgia. Uh, it gets humid. Then sometimes it's dry. And then sometimes it's humid. Sometimes it's dry. You never know what it's going to do. So I like to use um, two types of 
like um adhesive <laughs> all right Oof. all right so last but not least we're adding our miss cactus hey miss cactus girl and all i do is add her on there in her pot and i call it done all right crafty friends so here is the finished product 21 cards that are pretty much identical uh, <laughs> as you can see like the ribbon on like the little banner tab that I create some of them is different and then some of the paper is a little different just a couple of these because I was running short on that paper but I really like the way these cards came out and um, I can't wait to swap them out in the card swap so on the back I have uh, like my handmade by my name then I have becomingfab.com and then YouTube becoming fab just in case somebody wants to you know come by and check me out check out some videos and all that jazz <laughs> they can find me but I'm really digging the way to, I even love the packaging like it's really simple but cute and I thought I was recording how I was doing this, but I didn't. But all I did was I took some ribbon, just like this ribbon, and I ran it through um, the little sticker maker, and then I just secured it to the tabs. And that was it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> um, but I am really happy with um, the way the cards turned out, and I am so, 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 excited about uh this card swap like i am legit so excited <laughs> um you know it don't take much to get me excited about you know card making and stuff like that anyway but i'm just really um excited to meet some crafty friends and trade you know some cards and everything like that so that is today's project you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye